members that are present. And then we will also have one of our members' grandson accepting uh, on his behalf. So, um, Ms. Lowry, uh, would you like to introduce your, would you like to come up and introduce your teammates and you can tell us about everyone's role on the team, please? All right, the 1972. <laughs> Well, I didn't expect that. Um, again, I'm Charles Lowry. I'm uh, honored to be here as a member of the 1972 um, state championship um, mile relay team. Uh, unfortunately, we only had two members of that team here today, but I want to introduce um, my fellow. We used to ride together to the, to the meets in Tommy's uh, uh, suburb. Yeah, Sunbeam Alpine. Yes, Sunbeam. Yeah, so, uh, but uh, Mr. Tommy Pope, Tommy, please stand. Um, um, uh, Eugene Rankin was probably the best athlete on the team. Unfortunately, he's not here. That's right. He was, he, was, he was a phenomenal athlete in all sports. His grandson is going to come and speak with him. Right. And we also want to honor uh, Derek Woods, who is not here with us anymore, but um, is a member of that team as well. So I will turn it over to Tom. Thank you, Charles. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, say thank you to each and every one of you for taking our time to come and be a part of this special occasion of being inducted into the Athletic Hall of Fame in this beautiful building. It's just so gorgeous to uh, be able to come back to your alma mater and see the progress that's been made. And I just want to thank all the mothers. It was my mom that moved me out here to Warrensville from another neighborhood where I felt love and, and I felt safety. She provided food and shelter and a home and supported all my athletic endeavors. And it was the first time for me coming out of parochial school to a public school to participate in sports. And that was one of the reasons that I wanted to do so. And because of my teammates and all the coaching and all the friendships that I had in the community, I was able to do my best. And uh, being recognized for it today is quite an honor. So thank you again and all the best and keep loving your mothers and just hold on to your children. Okay, thank you so much. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests and members of the Hall of Fame Committee. We're deeply honored to stand before you all today to accept this Hall of Fame induction on behalf of my late grandfather, Eugene Rankin Jr. This is a moment that our family will cherish forever and I know my grandfather will be incredibly proud and humbled by this recognition. My grandfather was not only a remarkable athlete, but also a dedicated and passionate individual who gave his all to any sport he ever played. He played track and football, but also excelled in football and wrestling. He was very, he was great at any sport he ever played. After his passing, I was going through his photo album and seeing that he had hundreds of his trophies, medals, and ribbons. One of my fondest memories with him was me and him shooting little paper balls and, and trash into the trash cans at his house. <laughs> but the main basketball story was going to an outside basketball court and we played each other and he beat me. <laughs> he said he's going to keep beating me even when he is in a wheelchair. But he also said to find a hot spot on the court like he did so I could always be able to refer to that spot when I needed to make a shot. This shows how competitive he was when he was much older. He wasn't just a regular competitive person. He meant it. I remember him racing my other Renata even though he had recently had his hip replacement surgery. That didn't stop him from running. He never let anything, not even age, stop him from competing or supporting us in our own game whether on the field, court, or on the phone. He was always there, asking about our games and pushing us to excel. His journey on the track was one marked by grit, determination, and a wavering commitment to excellence. From the moment he first laced up his running shoes, he was driven by a deep love for the sport and a desire to push the limits of what was possible. My grandfather instilled in both his children and grandchildren the heart of the line. He taught us all what it would mean to never give up, to always be the best that we could be when faced with challenges. Our grandfather made sure that all of us at an early age learned how to cut out any distractions 
and now believes to be the best version of ourselves. But my grandfather's legacy extends beyond the achievements on the track. He always took the time to share his wisdom, his kindness, and his passion. Every other Saturday on those early mornings, we went to the barbershop to get our hair cut. During the car ride, I was able to ask my grandfather about life's situation without judgment, and he always gave me his honest opinion and advice. He also taught me how to ride my bike, installing in me not just balance, but also the confidence to face any challenge head on. Just three short weeks before he passed, we created a cherished memory that will forever warm my heart. My grandfather took my little cousin Braylon and I to a water park and braved the water slides with us. Now I want to take the moment to thank the Hall of Fame committee for recognizing his accomplishments and for honoring his memory, his memory in this way. This induction means more to us than words can express. It is a testament to the impact he made, not just as an athlete, but as a person who believed in the potential of others. To my grandfather, who would have ever thought I would ever be a tiger and walk in the halls of Lawrenceville Heights High School just like you? Hopefully I can get inducted in the Hall of Fame as well. I wish you were here to see it, but I know you're up in heaven, smiling down even at this exact moment and watching over the whole thing. Thanks for everything, for showing us the true meaning of dedication and hard work and leaving something all of us to remember and carry for the rest of our lives, even if that's what sports, business, life, and just regular things. We love you, miss you dearly, and we are so proud of you. Thank you all. Wow. <laughs> Um, Eugene was a hell of an athlete. I mean, he uh, was amazing, and thank you so much for those words about him. I, I um, had Tommy speak as well as young man here. I just wanted to say a few words as well. I wanted to thank uh, Superintendent Jolly and Athletic Director, Athletic Director Swift, and the Hall of Fame committee members, especially Jimmy Evans and Sharon. Um, they were in uh, my classes at Lawrenceville uh, at, uh, back in the 70s. And I also wanted to say, I brought a few people here from that time in that era, because we are, we don't want to be the forgotten generation. We helped lay the foundation for Warrenville Heights where it is today. And I want my colleagues to stand up. These are my classmates. I have uh, my, uh, my cousins. Stand up, stand up, Pat. I want people to see people who oh, we were in we were Warrenville back in the 50s and 70s. We helped lay the foundation, I believe, for where Warrensville is today. My cousins are here, Regina, Carlton, and, and Anita, please stand. Um, and also, um, I, I had a chance to look at the, at the program, and I saw where Charles Lowry had a, a few accomplishments compared to these other uh, athletes. And you guys that have, I'm honored to be a member, we are, with all of you that have done so much. Um, I want to recognize my son who is here. He played professional soccer for 10 years. Amir, stand up, please. He's a real, a real athlete in the family. And I, I just want to say that um, uh, we were, uh, a lot of us moved here as Orangeville Heights was undergoing a transition, being integrated. Um, and we had a, a, a big, fabulous time here at the school. Um, and my, uh, I was able to, Play. I had played football in the streets on Lipton off of Lee Road and played baseball out at Carouche Park, but really started feeling that I had a chance to play organized sports when we got to Warrensville. So I had my first trophy um, when I was in seventh grade for wrestling. Uh, Coach Duplay is here. Coach, why don't you stand up? He's been sort of part of everything. And I ended up running around in high school and um, it was it was great to, to to be coached by him. So I just want to say that uh, we really, from the seventies or that period of time, really did our our best uh, to to represent Warrensville. And I'm so proud that we're here and to see where Warrensville is today. And so thank you all so much. Please check out my other videos at T V L O G P on YouTube, T-Vlog P, my YouTube channel. Have a great day. Peace.